Is it motivated partly for what you see churches not doing in, in their ability to meet rich men specifically? How did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. Because I think the church, uh, as as it stands today, doesn't really reach men. You know, uh, men is very foreign to them to walk into a church. They feel uncomfortable, just as many of, of us church people would feel to go in a pub. Uh, they feel the same way about coming to church. So if we can take the the, uh, the message of Jesus to them in, in a very down to earth way, um, that's the way I think we can change their lives. Each town uh, that we go to, we believe God's led us, but mainly smaller towns because that's where the guys uh, do not get the opportunity to uh, to meet, to hear good speakers. Because when we go, we obviously take a speaker with us, and uh, so they can have just as, just as much opportunity. And we don't worry about numbers so much. It's uh, to form those relationships with, uh, with guys that would normally not have that opportunity. I've been retired for the last six years here in Narromine, uh, having lived on a farm at Tommingley all my life. Uh, fourth generation of that farm and uh, some six years ago my wife and I decided to retire. How did you get involved with the Aussie Harvest Dinners? Uh, I was invited by um, a friend of mine here in Narromine and um, uh, it quite appealed to me and uh, my wife was a very strong uh, Christian and had very strong faith and uh, I was brought up in a Christian home but uh, uh, I never folded anything like she did and uh, she encouraged me and uh, I'm glad she did because uh, it's helped me through life. The whole um, aim of this ministry is to build up relationships with people. Uh, we don't like preaching at them uh, but after a while when they get their confidence in you and realise that uh, you're just not buying them a meal for, uh, you know, to con them in some way. Um, th their hearts really open up to you and you can share Christ with them.